morning dear brothers and sisters and welcome to the daily scripture reflection today we shall be reflecting on the gospel of matthew chapter 5 verses 43 to 48 jesus said to his disciples if you have heard that it is said you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy but i say to you love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you so that you may be children of your father in heaven for he makes his son rise on the evil and on the good and sends rain on the righteous and on the unrighteous for if you love those who love you what reward do you have do not even the tax collectors do the same And if you greet only your brothers and sisters what more are you doing than others do not even the gentiles do the same be perfect therefore as your heavenly father is perfect the word of the lord in today's gospel jesus invites us to true love for enemies a four letter word that can overcome anything nowhere does the radical newness of the christian ethic stands out more clearly than in christ simple phrase love your enemies there are four words for love in greek storge refers to the love between parents and children eros is the love of attraction between man and woman Philia is the love of friendship and finally agape is the love as good will benevolent love that cannot be conquered a love that wills only the good for the person loved it is precisely love as agape that Christ ask from every one of his followers pray for those who persecute you why does christ ask or even demand for such a radical form of love precisely because that is how god the father loves every one of his sons and daughters with no consideration of whatever they are good or evil as we read in the verse 45 for he makes his son rise on the bad and the good and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust his love is absolutely without self interest he continues to love and pour forth his gifts even when he is not loved in return christ calls us to a lofty and challenging ideal but one that is capable of transforming lives what joy could be greater than to be true sons and daughters of our heavenly father in ccc para 1828 it reads we turn away from evil out of fear of punishment we are in the position of slave If we pursue the enticement of wages we resemble mercenaries finally if we obey for the sake of the good itself and out of the love for him who commands we are in the position of being his children why is christ almost relentless in insisting that we must be perfect and not just human perfection but as our heavenly father is perfect he knows that this the father's original plan for mankind from the dawn of creation and he is seeking true perfection true love as we read in genesis 1 verse 27 so god created mankind in his own image In the image of God he created them male and female he created them Christ is well aware 
that sin has darkened the divine image within us, that his call to perfect charity is not possible for our fallen human nature. But he is equally aware that by the power of his own death and resurrection, through the new life of the Holy Spirit whom he has sent, God's original plan for mankind will be restored. There can be no powerful motive for hope and love even amid the failure in charity and our human weaknesses. Jesus loved till the end. I am called to be like him. Let us ask ourselves, how does this passage touch me? Have I experienced the effective effect of actually praying for whoever has hurt me to wish well and wish them peace and healing? What is it like to be caught in the prison of unforgiveness? What effect that has on me and my relationship with my neighbor or even my enemy for that matter? Can I pray for the gift of forgiveness and love? Maybe the best I can muster is prayer that I might want to be perfect like my Heavenly Father. Let us bow and pray. There are times, Lord, when you lift us beyond what we think is impossible. Here you ask me to be perfect, meaning that in my heart I should bless even those who hate me and wrong me. Pour out your love in our hearts through the Holy Spirit. Teach us, Jesus, to love like you did, that we may stand worthy before the Father. For you alone, Lord, are love in itself. Amen. God bless and have a wonderful day.